Hey guys, first off, I just want to say I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit crackly or anything like that. I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm still a bit stuffed up and whatnot. Anyway, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys some useful keyboard shortcuts for iTunes. The first one I want to show you guys is how to play or pause a song, or whatever you're watching or listening to in iTunes. So I'm just going to click on the space bar. As you can see when I do that, a song starts to play. And then if I click on the space bar again, it's going to pause. And now if I click on control and the right arrow key, it's going to go to the next song. And if I click on control and the left arrow key, it will go back to the previous song. Next, if I click on control and L, it will go to the current song. Now if I click control and the up arrow key, it will turn the volume up or increase the volume. And if I click on control and the down arrow key, it will turn the volume down or decrease it. Next, if I click on control and E, that will eject disk, which means it will open the CD DVD drive. If I click on control and N, it will go to create a new playlist. Next, if I highlight a song here and then click on control, shift and N, it goes to create playlist from selection. And as you can see, it adds the highlighted song here. Now if I click Control, Alt, and N, it will go to a new Smart Playlist. Here's the Smart Playlist window. So I'm just going to cancel this. If I click on Control 2, it will change the category I'm currently on. So Control 2 will go to Movies. Control 3 is TV Shows. Control 4, Podcasts. Control 5, iTunes U. Control 6, audiobooks. Control 7, apps. Control 8, tones. And Control 9 is internet radio. Now if I click on Control 1 again, it's going to go back to the music section. If I click Control L, it's going to go to add file to library. As you can see, it says add to library. And if I click on Control I, it goes to get info. In other words, it's going to give me information on the song that is currently highlighted. It's called Beast Within, and the artist is in the moment. Year 2002, genre, heavy metal. It's from the album Blood. Then I go to artwork, and lyrics, options, sorting, and file. If I click Control Shift and M, it will switch to the mini player. To get out of the mini player, all you have to do is click on this X here, and it goes right back to iTunes. If I click Control Plus and Comma, it will go to Preferences. So here's General Preferences, and we have Feedback, Sharing, Store, Parental, Devices, and Advanced. If I click Control B, it will hide the menu bar. And then if I click it again, it will show the menu bar. If I click Control Shift and R, it will show in Windows Explorer. So in other words, it will show you the exact file location of whatever you have highlighted. So it's under iTunes, iTunes Media, Music, In This Moment, and Blood. If I click on Control P, it's going to go to Print. So we have an option for CD jewel case insert, a song listing, or an album listing. If I click Control A, it's going to select all. And if I click on Control Shift and A, it will unselect everything. Control J goes to View Options. If I click Control Shift and B, it will show the column browser. And if I click it again, it will hide the column browser. If I click Control Shift and U, it shows up next. If I click Control Plus and the backslash key, it will hide the status bar. So as you can see, the bar that was down at the bottom has now disappeared. And if I click Control Plus and the backslash key again, it will reappear. If I click Control and T, it goes to Show Visualizer. If I click Control Shift and 1, it will show the mini player. And if I click Control Shift and 2, it will show the equalizer. If I press Control Shift and 3, it will show downloads. As you can see, I don't currently have anything downloading. If I click on Control Shift and H, it will go to the home page of the iTunes Store. Alright, so I'm going to click on See All. Now if I click on Control and the open square bracket, 
that will go back to the previous page. And if I click on control and the closing square bracket, it's going to go back to the page I was just on. Now if I click control and R, it will reload the page. If I click on control and W, it will close the window, so it's going to exit out of iTunes completely. As you can see, I'm playing a movie right now. If I click on control shift and F, it will make it full screen. And if I click on control shift and F again, it will go back to normal. So those were some iTunes keyboard shortcuts that will come in handy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.